very important subject about the metaverse. Okay, we are going to talk about the most complete, mature, and fully fledged metaverse. It's called Second Life. Okay, many of you have already heard about Second Life, and many of you have a wrong idea about Second Life. You probably think it's just a game. It's not. I will explain everything a little bit. You may think Second Life is just uh, stupid people, dating, whatever. No. Second Life has everything you can find in real life and more. Because everything you can do in real life, you can do in Second Life, in that metaverse, and more because it allows to go into areas that you cannot go in, in real life. Fantasy worlds, whatever. So, let's start from the beginning. Who am I? Okay, why should you listen to me when I, uh, to talk about the metaverse and Second Life as one of the most important metaverses? Okay, I've been... Uh, Second Life exists since 2003. So, 20 years, two decades. So, Second Life exists for the last 20 years. It has evolved and matured and grown and developed during 20 years. So, it's not the metaverse where people is trying out things and where there are promises of this or that or we are going to open, we are going to do. No, it's been, it's been happening for 20 years. So... Everything I'm going to talk about and everything you can find in Second Life is the result of a long time evolution, uh, natural selection, and uh, development. Okay? So, this is very important. And this is why when you get into Second Life, you know you are getting into the real, the only, fully fledged, mature, long term, evolved metaverse. Okay? It's not a tryout, it's not a first thing, it's something mature, something real, and very, very, very diverse, very diverse. Who am I? I have, uh, I'm a geographer, I teach photography, and I'm, I'm a, a great fan of Second Life, of uh, virtual worlds, and I've been around in Second Life for 16 years until now, so... Second Life has 20 years, I've been around for 16 years, so pretty much I've seen it all. Uh, some people have a, a very quiet life in Second Life, they do only what they like and they do very few things because they just like to do that. But in my case, uh, I did a lot of everything. I gave classes, I learned in other people's classes, I met lots of different people, I created many crazy projects, not only as a consumer, but as a creator, uh, business, I did a bit of everything. Uh, no uh, Second Life is so big and so complex and so diverse that no one can say, I know everything about Second Life. It's impossible, it's massive, it's like real life, okay? So, <clears throat> but anyway, I'm one of those persons who tried a bit of everything, uh, even building, creating a bit of scripting, which is coding just a bit. Um, I managed communities, I developed business, I created projects, I helped people, people helped me. Uh, I did events, many types of different events. So, <clears throat> I have a long and very diverse experience in Second Life. So I think I can pretty much give you a very good idea on the potentials that Second Life has uh, for you, okay? In many areas, okay? So this is uh, why maybe it's good um, and maybe you can take something out in listening to me about Second Life Metaverse. So first of all, people are calling Metaverse uh, too many games and many stuff which is not complete metaverse. Roblox, uh, Fortnite, even um, uh, even live service games like GTA, Rabbit Online, and, and others, others, uh, MMOs, uh, whatever you can think of. 
Well, we can say we can say that those games and those platforms they have some features of the metaverse. The metaverse is a, a place where people meet in an immersive uh, uh, world, in an immersive platform. People meet and they do things together. So, uh, so not in the real world, but in a digital environment. And it's very immediate. It's not like a, a blog or not like a forum. Like people are there with their presence, uh, usually with an avatar, and people are interacting in real time and doing stuff in real time. So that's pretty much what sums up what a metaverse is. Um, but those games, those platforms, uh, Roblox, Fortnite, etc., those are places where you have one, two, three, four uh, features of the metaverse, but you don't have all the 200 features that a metaverse should have. <clears throat> you cannot go into Fortnite and build hats and open a store that sells hats. You cannot get married in and build your own or hire someone to do your marry, your your wedding ceremony in GTA. Like in Second Life, you can do pretty much everything you want. Okay, so it's very different the, the level of customization because Second Life, it's not a game where you can play the metaverse. Second Life, it's built to be the metaverse with all the features, all the activities, all the areas, the most crazy ones and the most serious ones you can find in Second Life. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that so you have a good picture of what Second Life is and if it's good for you and if it's interesting for you. Well, why, why is Second Life the most complete one? Well, you can be in Second Life as a consumer or as a creator or both uh, and the level of customization of what you can do there it's infinite infinite possibilities you can build what you want you can go to many places you can do what you want and you can do it exactly your way what you build what you offer people or where you go so it's very customized um, all the features of a metaverse, like in, for example, you know, you know the movie Real Player One. Real Player One, it's a movie that pretty much shows how Second Life works. The only difference is that Second Life doesn't have the goggles and the suits, and you are not on VR. You are in a screen, like in a game, uh, with your avatar. But it's very immersive, and everything is very interactive. Uh, most of the objects you find in Second Life, you can interact with them. Animals, objects, buildings, everything is scripted and everything interacts with you like in real life. So it's very realistic. Uh, the level of graphics, the level of realism is very big. The avatars, the worlds, the content. Uh, and of course, many people go into fantasy stuff and, and, and Besides the realistic stuff, you have the fantasy stuff also. It also it's, there's a, a, also a very important feature in Second Life, because what all, every area you can think of, you can uh, engage in Second Life. Science, education, art, business, uh, entertainment, uh, culture, uh, role play, uh, adult, adult stuff, any type of adult stuff. So, pretty much all the areas are covered uh, in 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 Second Life. Okay, and you can either um, attend stuff, events, or 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 engage in in groups on those activities, or you can build your own stuff and create your own project around those areas. So every area is covered in Second Life. Pretty much. And these are just the main examples. So pretty much everything goes around in Second Life. Uh, other, other very important thing is it's a very inclusive world. Why? Most of the metaverses that people are trying to create, companies, are metaverses that are very demanding in terms of goggles or, or computer. 
many metaverses. Uh, hello, Annabella. How are you? Welcome. Well, it's not my first live, but I'm trying to do that. Different types of lives, Annabella. Welcome. So, um, Second Life is very inclusive. First of all, uh, access to Second Life is completely free. Okay? So, you guys can um, create your accounts, choose your avatar. Usually, people go with an avatar from the basic ones, and then people start enjoying Second Life and try to build their own avatar and clothes and looks and all the stuff. It's like second phase, but you have an avatar, several avatars you can choose. Totally free, create your account, then you download the viewer. Uh, you can do it for Mac, for, for uh, Windows, even Linux. And um, you cannot use Second Life with a mobile phone yet or with a tablet. Okay, you're going to need a, a laptop or, or a computer, a desktop. Uh, but the good thing is, is Second Life is very inclusive, so everyone can access Second Life. The thing is, if you have a very high-end computer, you can set up the graphics to maximum power, and you have all the details in shadows and light and reflections and realistic look of stuff. But if you have a low-end computer, even if it's, it's an old uh, low-end computer, a laptop for example, you can also go there perfectly. You just have to tweak the graphics a little bit down. Usually when you install it, it will advise you the level of graphics. But even if you are less than half, even less than half the power of graphics, you will still have a nice experience with reflections, with light effects, with shadows, with realistic textures. So uh, don't worry about that. And this, this is very important because most of the metaverses people are trying to create companies are metaverses that will exclude a lot of people because they are only for people who like goggles, who can be hours and hours with goggles and, and, and pay for the goggles and have a very high-end computers, top graphic stuff, um, very expensive. So Second Life, it's a real metaverse also because of that. Very inclusive. Everyone can be there. So that's a very important thing in the metaverse. Also, it's fully fledged, so you can. Uh, there is an economy there. So Second Life has its own economy. It's not crypto. It's not NFTs. Forget that. That doesn't work for a metaverse. We will we will leave that stuff for another video, future video. But crypto, it's not good for a metaverse. Basically, crypto is a scam. But anyways. There, it's possible that some people, I only see promises, I don't see anything going on in crypto worlds, but maybe sometime, someday people create a, a real metaverse for, uh, with crypto, but it won't work, okay? Because crypto people just want to go into that metaverse, buy something and, and wait until they can sell that stuff. That's not how a metaverse works. A metaverse works with activities, with business, with day-to-day. -day. So a metaverse works with an economy based in utility. You buy stuff because you want to use that stuff. You don't want to sell it, okay? You may buy a house to build a store where you sell stuff, okay? But you're not buying a house to sell the house for one thousand dollars. It's not like Second Life works. So uh, there's a, a whole economy in Second Life, uh, digital coin, not crypto, no blockchain. Forget it. It's a digit. It's like TikTok coins exactly. So you have well, the lindens. Each dollar, it's three hundred lindens. And with three hundred lindens, you can buy a pet. You can buy a house. You can buy a plane. You can do a lot of stuff with one dollar in, in Second Life. Uh, of course, you have lots of great stuff, more expensive, but it's up to you. The fact that Second Life is really a, a long-term metaverse and it's been around for a long time means there is a lot of competition. And that's very good also in the metaverse. It's not the metaverse that has just started. And when you want to buy a dolphin, an interactive alive dolphin to put on your lake or on your beach, on your ocean, 
um, you just have two stores and you have to buy what there is. No, there are pretty much, I don't know, a hundred different dolphin creators with hundred different features and prices and, and, and interactive stuff that you can choose from. So uh, that's very important also. A, me a metaverse that's been along for uh, been uh, developing for a long time has more competition. Bad creators died or went to bankrupt or gave up, and the good, the best creators are competing with prices and with quality stuff. So that's very important in a metaverse. Uh, and well, pretty much anything you can do in real life anything in these areas, I told you, you can do in Second Life. So it's very complete, okay? And you can do it your way, okay? Another very important thing is that uh, when, you, when you try Second Life, when you create your account and you download the viewer and you get inside with uh, the account data, password and stuff, be very careful when you choose your name because probably you're just checking Second Life, you don't pay much attention to, to the name you create, but if you like it, and if you make friends, and you stay there, and you start doing stuff, uh, maybe you will regret, and you will think, oh boy, now I have a whole group of friends here, a project, so I'm doing stuff, and uh, I would like to have chosen a better name, so everybody knows me by this name, so think very well about it. Also, another very important thing is when you go to Second Life, don't judge the whole of Second Life with the first place you land and with the first people you talk. I mean, you like it's it's like going uh, hi, Mister Mister Hossein, welcome. It's like going into um, a city or a, a country. Imagine you go. Travel, you travel to a new country and the, you land in the airport and you go into a street and whatever you see on that street in that country, the first street you find after the airport, the f uh, wherever you see in that street and the first person you talk to, you are going to say the whole country is like that. It's like that street and that person. It, it's crazy. I mean, you can be lucky when you get to Second Life, you can be very lucky and land in a place where you meet great people that will help you out uh, and welcome you, and you can, or you can be landing in a place where there are people that strolling around and stupid people and be harassed. Uh, it's like in real life. It's part. Uh, it's a huge universe, very diverse. Okay. There are uh, more public places where everything is going on, and there are private places where there are rules, uh, and any troll or any stupid person will be ejected, uh, okay? Uh, and you can also choose your friends, you can deny or accept a friendship request, and you can block a person. If you don't like that person, you can block the person, and they will never be able to find you or talk with you. So you have to give a lot of time uh, you won't know what second life is uh, in half an hour in one day or in one week there are it's a, a so such a big diverse world with all types of people there uh, uh, people with different objectives and different projects and different ways to 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 use second life that you really need a lot of time to get around, okay? The best thing you can do is use the search feature. There is a big search feature. You can search for places and, and start typing places that you prefer, like what types of worlds you prefer, cities, uh, fantasy worlds, uh, clubs, uh, stores, uh, replicas of cities, museums, uh, schools, um, adult places, whatever you fancy. Uh, but but take your time and remember whatever you see it's just a very 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 tiny part of a whole huge massive world so don't think the bad things it's all of second life or the good things it's all of second life okay it's like the real world a new, it's like a whole new country okay so take your time that's very 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 important okay
of course, meeting people will help you out because people who is already there, uh, you can go into a club, for example, and start dancing in a club and just say hello, be polite. Uh, many people will welcome you there uh, and then you can ask some questions and people will send you stuff and, and links to interesting stuff. Okay, we don't call links, we call it landmarks. It's like a bookmark for places. Uh, okay, so uh, start, start trying to... to uh, also, uh, friendship, uh, you don't ask friendship the first time you, you talk to a person. Well, it can happen, it can happen, uh, but be, be careful with that because many people in Second Life, they don't like to accept a friendship request the first time they talk with someone, okay? So it's a very delicate stuff, so don't take it bad if somebody does not accept your request. When you're starting out, it's better to be friendly, meet people, and expect people to be, they will be the ones who will uh, send you a friendship request. It's like, it's like, uh, it's like a Facebook friendship or TikTok friendship, like it's a contact that will be in, on your list. Okay, so, now you know how you access, you create your account, you download the viewer, you, you go into the viewer and you put the stuff you created in your account, your avatar name and your password, and you go inside. Then you will have to learn a little bit how to walk, how to fly, how to land, uh, how to chat. Okay, you have lots of tools in Second Life. Uh, you can spend all your time communicating with people just with chat like you write stuff and shows up in, in, in real time to people. Uh, you can use voice. Uh, many people don't like to use voice, so do not expect... Uh, expect many people not to use voice and just chat with you. And you can, you can, if you use voice, you are using in a public place, everybody can hear you. If you use chat, you can be communicating with everyone around in general chat everyone is listening to you or reading what you what you're saying but you can also message people privately and then you're chatting in private with a person it's called em okay so uh, what's how, how does it work okay how how in general how it's the model of uh, using Second Life, how does it work, like, in, in a very um, general way. Well, Second Life works like this. Imagine you have, like, uh, weeks or square spaces. I, I'm not saying they are good or bad, I'm just saying it's an example. Imagine you have a place that rents servers, that rents websites, and you go there, you get your hosting, and you build your website. You have templates, you have a hosting service, you have a space in the cloud, the server, and you build your site and you use your site for whatever you want. Second Life pretty much works like that. 99.99% <clears throat> of everything you will see and everything you will do in Second Life, it's everything stuff that the users of Second Life created or are doing. Okay, the owners of Second Life, Linden Labs, they don't build the world for you to use. It's not like a game, okay, it's a platform and they offer people land. There is mainland where many people is together and are very much divided in, in small parcels or big parcels and there are private islands which is what people like more because you have more control there, you, you, you don't have neighbors around. But the model is this, like they provide the land, which is like a website hosting, and in that land, people pay for the land, uh, usually paying for the land, it's, it's cheap, but what becomes more expensive, it's the monthly fee you have to pay to use that land, just like a website. Like you, go, you have a website, you pay $15, $20 a month, uh, to have your website ho uh, hosting service and you build what you want and you do what you want in your website. <clears throat> Pretty much what works like that. So, But instead of building pages and links, you have places, real 3D immersive places. 
can be very realistic or fantasy worlds or whatever. <coughs> you can choose what type of land or what type of islands. Uh, and in that land, people build and do whatever they want. There are, of course, the normal rules, like in everything in the world. Uh, terrorism, racism, uh, well, child, all that stuff that it's forbidden in any website or any platform, it's forbidden there. But besides that, besides the terms of service, you can do whatever you want, okay? You can do a role-play world. Well, we're getting into that. But basically, Second Life works like this. They provide the land, which is the base, land and water. They provide the terrain. People buy and rent those terrains, okay, either on mainland, small pieces, or a whole island. And then, in there, people build and do whatever they want on the areas I told you. Science, education, arts, culture, entertainment, role play, uh, fantasy, adult stuff, whatever, okay, arts. All those areas and many more, education, religion, and all those areas, people do what they want with their land. They build, okay? Now you can say, okay, do I need to be someone, uh, do I need to learn uh, to build? We are getting there, don't worry. You don't need to, to learn how to build. So this is the model how Second Life works. Uh, is it free? Well, uh, that's what we're going to talk about now. You can, um, you can, uh, Second Life has a full economy, as I told you. There are Lindens, people buy, it's, uh, it's, like, it's like TikTok, like people buy uh, the digital coins, Lindens, and with those Lindens, you can buy services. You can hire uh, a band to play on your on your land, for example, to do a live concert. Uh, you can hire a translator. You can hire people to work for you there. Employees, whatever, just like in real life. Okay. Um, and if you make money, if you build stuff that people buy, or if you do services that people require you, if you are a DJ or an artist. For example, you get you earn money inside Second Life that people is paying to you, and you can change that those lindens back into dollars into your PayPal. So you can spend money and you can make money just like in real life. It's not crypto, it's not blockchain, it's not NFTs. Forget that, okay? Nothing to do with that, okay? The the linden coin it's very stable. It's not like you have to 10,000 lindens and you can buy a, an island and build a house and whatever and then next month it's it's much cheaper much expensive no it's very stable economy okay like it's been stable for long for all these years and then stuff the the, the cost the, the the prices of stuff you buy uh, it's very stable also okay there's a lot of competition so everything you can sell goods or services, build and sell goods or services, and everything you can buy, goods or services, it's provided by other users. So everyone you will find in Second Life, it's other users, okay? There are a few bots that people can use on their lands to welcome people, like hosting, uh, it's called bots, they look like avatars, but they are not avatars, but everything, you it's there because someone is paying their land and built it and it's doing stuff so everyone you'll find imagine the seams but with real everyone is a real person okay pretty much but much more complete in you know in everything you can do so how can you go about <coughs> how does this economy work okay so Linden Labs charges for the land it's the main business uh, but then then there is a, a, a massive website, a marketplace. The, the marketplace can be where people sell and buy goods or service, content or services. Uh, that marketplace is divided into the two big areas. The website, which is outside the, the 3D world, it's a, it's a normal website. 
and that there when you buy something the creator of that good or service that it's selling on that marketplace big website the creator when gets it gets your money there is a small fee that goes the creator pays a small fee like imagine one guy is building boats uh, yachts and you buy a yacht uh, and and you pay uh, like five dollars for the yachts uh, z uh, 50 cents instead of going to the creator 50 cents are taken from that and goes to in the labs but if it's if uh, it's inside the world in the 3d world the 3d platform then there's no fees you build your store you sell your stuff people pay you five dollars for whatever you're selling and you uh, take the whole five dollars for you okay and you can pay those five dollars to an artist that a DJ who's going to play in your party and that DJ picks those five dollars and he can buy a, 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 mot a motorcycle for him for his land so the money goes around and there are no cuts going to Linda Labs okay so Linda Labs only takes a small fee in the web page now you can say, oh, okay, so it's better to be in the inside the world, economy inside the world, and never use the web page. Well, the, the web page only takes money from the creators, not from the from the consumers. So when you pay, you pay for that. But the web page is very good because if you want to buy a house and you want to do it all inside Second Life, the price is the same. Like you will see many stuff which is inside in the world in world it's called in world and you also see that stuff in the web page the same thing you can buy it in, 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 in both places most of the stuff but the thing is imagine you want to buy you you bought a piece of land okay you don't need to buy a whole island if you buy a whole island uh, which is a big area uh, it's called a sim and if it's a private scene that all uh, it's not in mainland where you have neighbors it's just your island which is surrounded by water which is great because people love places that have waterfront and beaches and, and the ocean as a view you don't have a wall and, and your neighbor in mainland like building crazy stuff ugly stuff right in front of you so People love mainland, but if you buy a whole sim, you will be paying two hundred and forty dollars per month to have the whole sim. It's in a scale; it's equivalent in real life scale uh, to two hundred and fifty-six meters by by two hundred and fifty-six meters. It's a square. Uh, but you can also do something like you can go. There are some people who own all islands. And they divide it into four parts and they rent uh, to four people so you can have a quarter of a sim a private sim or you can have half a sim and then you're paying one hundred dollars and here if you have a quarter of a sim you will be paying something like fifty dollars a month but you can you can go either in private sims or in mainland you can find small parcels maybe you don't need a lot of space you just want a a house a garden and a pool whatever so you can you can have your land and your house and be paying like something like six dollars a month okay but that is only if you want a land for you if you don't want land you can just be a consumer in second life like you can spend years in second life without spending a cent you don't need to spend money in second life i mean usually at least in your avatar sooner or later you will be spending because you meet people you want to look good to people so you 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 are tired of that basic avatar that you have chosen when you created your account you want a better look you have some uh, personal a customized avatar different hair different style more realistic this or that uh, a fantasy avatar like your avatar can be a person of any type there, there are stores selling avatars selling all types of avatars shapes and heights and animals and dragons and monsters and furries and uh, ghosts and skeletons or, or, or real people very realistic okay 
and the avatars are, are, are all complete, like everything you have in, in real life in the human body, all the details are there, interactive, <laughs> okay, so it's not just like an avatar that's like a Barbie or a Ken, okay, you have everything, okay, so sex is a very important part of a second life, okay, you don't need to engage into that, but if you want, you can, and in a very diverse and interactive way, okay, a very complete way. So everything goes around in second life. It's something which is destined to adults and not to kids. Well, you can be a consumer, okay, um, and you can just be a free user. You don't need to spend money. You go to other people's lands. You go to events, you go to uh, meetings, uh, uh, any type of event you can imagine in, re in real life. You go to exhibitions, you meet people, you go to parties, clubs, whatever, and you don't have to spend a cent. Um, but you can also be a creator, okay? And if you are a creator, then probably you will need to spend some money, even if it's just $5 a month, to have your land and build your stuff, like your club, your venue, your art gallery, your uh, motorcycle club, your brothel, your church, <laughs> everything goes around in Second Life, uh, your store, whatever. Uh, but even then, even then, Imagine you are not selling goods in Second Life. Imagine you are, you are a creator and you are selling a service. You do uh, design, graphic design. People have stores. They need to build their logos. They need to build their stores, the, the, the design of the brands, marketing. Uh, you can be a graphic designer. You don't need a land for that. Like people, people ask you to do stuff for them and you do stuff for them, and you use the search feature, you use the classifieds, and you uh, publicize your services, and people hire you, and you don't, need, you don't need an office for that. Usually, people, sooner or later, if, if you like Second Life, sooner or later, you're going to be spending just a little bit, because you want to have your, your piece of land, even if it's just a small house in an island, or whatever. But you can do a lot of things with five ten dollars a month, so... It's not like only people with lots of money can use Second Life. But as I told you, like you can be a translator. Like There are many people that have business, or even if it's not business, they have their worlds, and they want things translated uh, in, in different languages. And you don't need to have land for that. You are offering a service. People hire you to translate, or people can hire you to make movies, of their lands. Imagine uh, one person creates a, a venue or creates a, a world and they want a promotional video of their world. And you go there and you take videos of their world and you edit and you create a nice marketing video for them. That's a service and they will pay you. They will pay lindens to you and you can change those lindens back into dollars. And you don't need land for that, okay? But as I said, you can be in Second Life just consuming, consuming friendships, consuming content, consuming events, having fun. Uh, you don't have to know how to build, how to create anything, okay? You can be someone just enjoying what other people offer to you, free or, 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 or sold. But you can be a creator, just like in TikTok, just like in, in any other platform, so you can create stuff, and sometimes creators are not doing business. They create a fantasy world for role play. That they know how to build, so you can you can buy your land, rent your land, and you can build a world in your land, like create a, a special type of world. Uh, it can be just your house. It can be something very normal, or it can be a fantasy world, or whatever. You can also change the terrain, uh, hills, uh, holes, uh, uh, the texture of the terrain can be grass, sand, whatever, so you can pretty much create the environment, and then you can buy, then when you, when you start to build the world, usually you are buying stuff, but it's not expensive. 
like you can buy uh, imagine you want to build like a, a resort you 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 create like a dune stuff with a texture a sand texture and you you create some uh, pools and some ocean fronts where people go to the beach so you create that type of islands or tropical islands and you need palm trees uh, with the one dollar you can buy a palm tree from you have you'll find 200 stores buying fantastic palm trees okay uh, there's a lot of competition that, that's why it's very good at second life it's it's been around for a long time it's very mature so it's not like a new metaverse where you have two guys selling palm trees and uh, they're all they all look the same uh, you have 200 stores selling palm trees uh, some palm trees uh, they have different styles of design some are more realistic some are more cartoon cartoonish and you buy the palm trees for one dollar and and you can copy you can put as many palm trees you want in your in your resort um, so you can buy animals uh, to fly around uh, to swim around your ocean any type of animal any type of stuff you 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 can imagine so you can build your world you can be yourself building the stuff or you just can buy everything pre-built you want to you want to you want to create a hotel you can buy parts of houses and create the hotel or you can buy a hotel that it's already built with everything working elevators uh, rental systems people pay second life has a lot of automation like imagine you create the business where you rent uh, stores like you create a mall you build a big mall where people rent small stores to sell stuff and then you publicize your mall so so customers come and, and people who's renting from you or a hotel for example where you rent rooms everything goes around in second life and when you are doing that you can there are many automated systems you have rental boxes and you have posters and you, like you you set up the stuff and it's automated like the rental boxes says if you want to rent this is uh, x uh, lindens per week and people pay and it will count the weeks remaining it will warn them that they have to keep paid the next week and and the money goes into you so there are many automated systems okay you don't have to be there waiting for the people and say oh you want to rent this place come on give me the money no it's all automated with the boxes and scripted stuff and interactive stuff so you can spend one week away from your hotel and people it's dealing with your hotel paying the rent or using it no problem of course if you have a business you will you you probably want to go there every day check that there's always something people need help and customer service okay but you you don't you don't create a business and that don't show up no even if, even in real life if you do it <laughs> it's not a bad practice it's, it's gonna go wrong so but as i told you you can get into second life and enjoy all the massive features of second life as a consumer just to enjoy or you can go there with the perspective of a creator either because you have a free project or because you have a business to develop in second life and pretty much all the business you find in real life you can find in second life so what uh, do we need to talk about so what can you do in second life okay well, it's very different it's very difficult to give you a list of stuff that you can do in second life okay why because there's nothing you cannot do like imagine like what you do in real life uh, to enjoy a real life you can do in second life okay so what can you do you can attend uh, classes to learn stuff you can attend meetings to to discuss stuff uh, book clubs um, you can visit galleries you can uh, go to live concerts you can go to dj parties you can go to clubs to dance you can meet people in any sort of events there are fashion shows uh, fairs like some people organize fairs like um, uh, markets markets with uh, with events uh, you can go to a conference you can go to a, a religious service uh, you can uh, go with uh, attend weddings <laughs> yeah people get married in second life so 
There's uh, everything you do in sex. There are movies, there are movie theaters, there are restaurants, which sounds really crazy, like, come on, a virtual world. People don't eat in virtual worlds. Yes, people eat in virtual worlds. People take it serious, people go to restaurants, people uh, rent houses, rent stores, rent hotels. Um, and people eat there. There is interactive tables with interactive food. It's just like role play. Of course, you are, you are, your avatar does not need to eat. You, can, you don't need to eat to, to keep your avatar. It's not like those games. You have to feed like The Sims. Uh, but but yes, you can go to restaurants, to everything. Uh, um, uh, oh, how do we call it? Uh, fairgrounds, like uh, Disney World, stuff like that. Like uh, I forgot the name. Uh, amusement parks, stuff like that. Um, you have some role play. You have some serious uh, RPG and and, and and theatrical role plays. Um, there are artists singing live. But you can do a lot of things. You can go into sci-fi adventures, explore planets, uh, visit visit. You can explore. Just explore. Like visit worlds. Today I'm gonna visit. Uh, places with dinosaurs, uh, interactive living dinosaurs. Uh, today I'm going to visit uh, all the tropical places in Second Life. Today I'm going to check all the sci-fi stores and worlds. Uh, it's amazing. And many people, many people create worlds where you can do a lot of things for free. You don't have to pay. Okay. Uh, sometimes in some role play sims, like uh, islands sims for role play. There are some rules, like you need to dress this way or that way. But many places are public and they're just very welcoming. Uh, and of course, in many places you will find bad people. Like you can be in a store choosing your hair, uh, the hair you want to use, your, you want to buy a new hair for your avatar, and you can be harassed by someone. Uh, usually in, in, in stores and venues, usually there is management, uh, and and um, if people are is trolling the owner of the land or if you own a piece of land you can eject people and ban people from growing there they cannot go there any any anymore so there are defenses you can block a person and they cannot reach you anyway they cannot follow you they cannot talk with you anymore um, so don't worry about that but it can happen, like you can be doing the most innocent, innocent thing in a store by choosing something to buy and people can harass you, stupid people. But you will also find, find it's like in the real world, you'll find very nice people. You have, you'll find people that will help you in ways you cannot imagine. Like if they know you're new, you, can, you must create your profile because every avatar has a profile that people can check with photos or information or links or whatever. Um, usually people are very suspicious when you arrive there because your avatar will be a bit basic. It's not a sophisticated avatar with special uh, features and clothes. Uh, and they will check your profile. And say, oh, this guy has been around just for one month. Maybe he is a troll. So people can be a bit suspicious. Um, when you are a rookie in second life, but give it time. Remember, wherever you are, wherever you go, whoever you meet, and whatever happens, it's just a tiny little part of a whole massive world, okay? So forget it when you listen to people talking about second life. Oh, that's just sex, or that's just for dating, or it's stupid people, just people trolling around. Yes, everything happens there, but you have all the other things. So any experience you have in second life is a very tiny part, okay? Uh, you can choose your land, your places, you can start choosing and you, you only talk with that people and you only go to those places and do that stuff and you, and you create your, your social network and your preferred stuff to do. You don't have to do everything in Second Life, okay? <clears throat> you can find a, a friend or you can find a, a partner uh, and you can live in your house and you don't do anything more, you just role playing there. So, uh, you can choose the type of life and the type of things you do in Second Life. 
Uh, also, remember the fantasy worlds which are incredible. Uh, and uh, the, the tools, like the tools you have to do if you are a creator, everything you do in Second Life, uh, in business or pleasure or entertainment or, or education, whatever, science, everything you do, you can go to virtual museums uh, that replicate the real life museums and you can touch the... the the sculptures or touch the, the, the pictures and get the information about the artists. Like it's very interactive, everything. Uh, animals are very interactive. You can have a pet and you can have a pet that follows you everywhere. Like a, a flying dragon, a cat, a dog, a panther, a lion, uh, <laughs> a ghost, uh, whatever. You can have pets that will follow you everywhere. And it's not a pet that is just sitting here or following you. It's interactive. You can teach them tricks and you can interact with them. Second Life, it's very diverse and very interactive, okay? Uh, it takes time to learn stuff, of course. It's, it's, a, it's a big learning curve. So don't expect to know your way around Second Life in the first week or the first month, okay? It's going to take a lot of time. And you will find your place, your people, your activities, but it will take time, okay? Remember this, it's very diverse. So, um, as a creator, you can also do a lot of stuff. But when, when we talk about making money in Second Life as a creator of services, a provider of services or goods, stuff you build, uh, it's a tough world, it's like in real life. I mean, if you think, okay, I'm gonna buy a land and I'm gonna build a store and I'm gonna build uh, beds, interactive beds, and I'm gonna sell them. There are, there are 500 people doing the same, so you better be good. Okay? You can get lucky, you can build a house or, or build a, a piece of art or anything, you can build an animal, whatever. You can build content that people love, like love at first sight, and in, in two weeks you are famous, people is coming, word of mouth, everybody's buying from you, and you get, you get um, very happy with that, you get motivated, and you start building even more, and having even more success, and you can <laughs> be doing $500 a month or more suddenly, but that's not the most common thing, it can happen. Just like in real life, you can open a store and be very successful, a restaurant, whatever. But do not expect that. Like, like forget that crazy stuff like the crypto people, like, uh, oh, come to Second Life, you'll be rich. It's like in real life, okay? Um, but you can start a business in a small place with small stuff, focus in something, and little by little you develop. And if you are lucky and you are making money, there's a lot of competition. And if you are lucky, if you are making money, you can like, okay, this is going well. I can buy a bigger land, expand a little bit and sell more stuff. And it's like a snowball effect. Or you can be lucky in just making $50 a month for, for your extras or whatever. But it's not a place where, oh, you go, you do and you get rich. It's like, that's crazy. Many people are rich in Second Life, many people, but many, many more are trying and they, 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 don't, they don't go there. So there's a lot of competition. Um, also very important to know is don't think, don't think you need to learn a lot how to build, how to create stuff. You don't, okay? Like, most of the stuff, it's already pre-built. Like, one time I created the resort, I bought the palm trees, I put them there. I bought the animals, the dolphins, the sharks, the tropical fish, uh, living, living, roaming freely, interactive, everything is very cool. It's not like stuff, you just like dummies there. Um, I bought them and I put them in the ocean. Then I bought, I bought the pre-made bungalows, already pre-made, and I just had to choose. Uh, maybe maybe I built the, 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 the bridge to connect the bungalows or you can also find those bridges and buy them. Like you can buy stuff from different creatives, put them in your land, copy, 
and just you, you, your only work is to lay them out, like create the land where you put this or you put that, uh, and and so everything you can find everything pre-built, interactive, rental systems. When you sell stuff, you have an automatic vendor. You don't have to be there selling the stuff. That you can be two days away or one month away from your store and people are going there, they are buying, they are paying, they are getting the product, everything is automated, okay? Uh, of course, there's always customer service. Some, some, some people, uh, sometimes stuff that is sold, it's complex and people will put you questions and they will complain about something that it's not working properly if you don't build it properly. So uh, if you have a business, it's like in real life. There's always customer service, okay? And you can hire, you can hire, you can even hire if you don't want to do anything of that, not even buying and putting their stuff. You can hire people that will do that for you. They will create the whole world for you. Actually, there are stores where you can already buy pre built whole scenes, whole islands with all the stuff. Usually, I don't like that because it's it's always nice to choose the type of trees, the type of animals, the type of stuff you're going to, you're going to put there. But it's up to you. So don't worry about having to learn. Okay, you have to learn what works, what doesn't work. Okay, and we, I'm not just talking about business. You can be creating a world for you and your friends to have fun for role play or whatever. Uh, so also very important. The way you do something, the way you sell, the way you buy, the way you meet people, the way you promote your land, the way you, the way things you make things work in your land, entertainment or business or culture or whatever. There are twenty ways to do the same thing. <laughs> so, like, I want to do this, like this, like this. There are twenty ways to go around. So it's very, very diverse. Like. The way you, you, you promote your stuff, there are many ways. The way you rent stuff, many different ways, many tactics. You can, you can invent your own ways, okay? So that's what I pretty much love about the Metaverse Second Life. Um, what else can we talk about? Socialization, okay? So you have all the tools, you have uh, public chat areas, public sound, voice. You can you have uh, public um, mass, um, private messaging, uh, chat or voice. You have um, you can create groups and invite people to your groups. You can have a group inviter which is automated. And when people go to our, our land, they have a post that touch these and join our group and they join. So you can have build a community where you can send like a newsletter, for example. You can send, you can communicate with your people. So that's very important. Uh, what else? Uh, socialization. So you can you Second Life has a, a system for friendship and keeping in contact. Uh, but imagine you are visiting a place and you like uh, a tree. You see a tree. Oh, this is beautiful. I want to buy a tree like this, or I want to get a tree just like this to my, for my land. You can touch the object, you can see who created the object, who sold it, who is the owner now. And, and uh, in those names you can click and get the profile of the person. So like you see something you like, you can just check the object with edit mode. You cannot change it, but you can check it. And you can check the creator and you get to the profile and you can contact the creator. Or, or you will see the profile of the creator and it will have the store there, the landmark for the store. Landmark is like a bookmark. It's like when you go to a place, you create, uh, when you go to a website you like, you create your favorites, your bookmark. Uh, when you meet a land uh, in Second Life and you want to you wanna keep it for future use, you create the landmark and then you have the list of your landmarks of your places, okay? So it's very, it's very, everything is there, like eh, all the tools. And for the same function, you have 10 different tools that do exactly the same. So you have lots of choices, okay? So it's incredible, okay? You will get lost there. Uh, so socialization is a very important part uh, of Second Life. And many people take it very serious. They create families 
um, it's uh, virtual, but they're families, like husband and wife, uh, or gays, or lesbian, or whatever. It's a family with kids. Uh, there are pregnancy systems. Um, so, don't worry. You don't have to worry about your avatar eating, or health, or you will die, like the Sims. No, it's not like that, okay? You are okay. But if you want to go into real role play, uh, you can go into systems where you must eat and you must uh, you have a pregnancy and you go to the doctor and <laughs> it's amazing you have the tea party for the child when it's born and uh, it's I forget it uh, many choices okay think like this everything you can do in real life everything you can do in second life you can find that in second life, or you can do it in second life, just like that. And more, because you, you cannot, uh, you cannot walk the streets dressed as like a dragon and fly. In second life, you can. Uh, you cannot visit Star Trek and and start role playing Star Trek with real spaceships. In second life, you can. So, you can do all the real stuff, uh, like in real life, and more. You can fly dragons, you can you can fly to go from one place to another. So that that's very important because it's more than real life. And to finish this session, this is a, a this is a, how do I say this is a, a live, but I will save this live and I will replay it. It's also it's like a long video also with information. The difference is, in this life, you can ask me stuff. If you're watching it, if you're enjoying it, or if you are curious about it, ask me anything about Second Life. Uh, when this life is replayed, uh, it's, it's replayed, so you cannot ask me uh, anything, but you can get uh, all this information to have a pretty good idea if you are going to give a chance to Second Life or not. Uh, also, also very important, it's people from all over the world. Everyone speaks English, so you can make friends everywhere from around the world. To finish up, one thing it's very important about Second Life. Second Life it's always evolving. Like, you don't have the same stuff that you have five years ago or ten years ago. Many, many worlds, many lands close, new ones open. Um, sometimes uh, new stores with new products that were never there before. Uh, and there is one thing called synergy. What is synergy? Synergy means the when you put something together from different people or, or, or you yourself put something together, the result is not the simple sum of the parts. Like you put four things together and you don't have something built with four things. You have something more valuable than those four things individually. That's synergy. Imagine you have one guy who builds planes. He's a great guy who builds planes in Second Life, airplanes. But he doesn't know how to make them fly. He only knows how to build beautiful planes. Outside, inside, all the details, beautiful. But he doesn't know how to make them fly. There, are, there is another guy, and this is all real, there is another guy who has a store and he only sells one thing, engines that make planes fly, okay? And there, it's the only thing he sells, or maybe he sells engines for planes, engines for bikes, engines for cars, whatever. Only the engine that will make the plane fly. You are the third person, you can go there and say, I'm going to buy this plane, it's beautiful, it doesn't fly, but it's beautiful. But then I'm going to buy this engine, and I'm going to put it in the plane, and I'm going to make this plane fly. And suddenly, you are building an airport, okay? And even, there are planes that fly, and that they are sold already flying, but this is just an example, okay? So, when, when you start putting things together, you can build an airport, but like no one, the result of that airport resulted in synergy, because people put things together, 
and they make better things with those parts. So this is synergy. Uh, when I when I build, uh, I already built some houses, not many, and I sold some houses. Um, but I didn't know how to build the doors. But I bought doors that worked, and I put them in my houses, and those doors worked. And then I sold the houses, and people value my houses because my door, the house, the door, the doors of the houses and the windows they open and close, which is important in Second Life. So if if I was building a house and I didn't have one guy who sells doors, I could not build a good house and could not sell, I would not go to sell houses without doors. So that's synergy. Like you take something from here, take something from there, something from there, put it together and you get something special and new. And also new stuff. Like people bring new products. Uh, and that's great because suddenly you cannot do something but like next week you have one guy who opened a store and it's it's do it's it's selling something new and you say oh my god oh, I always wanted this there was no it not was not here before but this guy opened the store and now I can have this so it's amazing the the amount of combinations and crazy stuff you can do and this is Gaffa it's one of my four cats she she loves me she was brought to our house uh, she was a street cat very very tiny. She was brought by my girlfriend, but you know, you don't. Uh, cats are the ones who choose their owners, and she fell in love with me, and she's always around me. She's quite old. You are something like thirteen years old, but she's still very agile. She jumps uh, for stuff. She even jumps in my shoulders sometimes. So she is still filled with energy. Besides. Despite this 13 years little kitty cat, and there she is. Now I'm finishing the live. Um, as I said, this is a live. You can put any questions, and I will replay this live. <coughs> and then you cannot put any questions, but you can wait for a next live about the metaverse and about second life. So give it a try. But remember what I told you, okay? Uh, when you go there, you will visit tiny parts. You won't have a good idea of the whole. Okay, so then don't let yourself think that Second Life is just what you saw and the first person you met. Gaffa, don't take the, don't take the camera. Don't you take the camera down, people? It's watching, people. It's watching. Okay, guys, thank you for listening to me.